Hello everybody, this is Susie the Music Lady back one more time to discuss vowels with you. And the last vowel that I want to share with you is the eh vowel. Eh. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. The eh vowel is probably one of the most challenging vowels to get a grasp on because so many little minute differences in your mouth will change the quality of an eh like that. <laughs> so a healthy way to produce the eh sound is to um, think about words like bed, red, wed. That's the eh sound that we are after, okay? Just like the e vowel, your teeth are going to be close together, but not closed. Eh, eh, eh. You also want to make sure that your tongue is out of the way, just like in previous videos and in previous examples. Eh, eh, eh. It's also important that you put a little bit of an H. Eh, 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 in front of it so that you don't do what's called a glottal stroke. Eh, eh, eh. Do you hear that almost a click? Eh, eh, and it's like a forced explosion from your vocal cords. Eh, 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 as opposed to eh. <laughs> All right, so let's listen to a healthy eh vowel. All right, now the challenge with singing words that have eh on the inside of them or within them or after them is that depending on where you are, especially in the country of America, you're going to add other vowel sounds with it unknowingly just because of how you talk <laughs> on a regular basis. For instance, if you live in the southeast Missouri, bed probably is more like bed. <laughs> or if you want to go to the store today, it becomes, I want to go to the store today. So you can tell how just by learning how to speak things a particular way doesn't mean you're going to sing them the same way. So what happens with the a vowel whenever you start to change anything about it, is it's not the E eh vowel anymore. Hey, eh, oh, eh. Do you hear the differences? I'm sure you do. So let's sing a word. Let's sing bed and listen for how the vowel changes or if it changes at all. Bed. Did you hear a little bit of a chew? Bed. <laughs> Did you hear that? How it kind of like, eh. <laughs> it makes me think of those little toys with the tube and goes, oi, ow, oi, ow. Right? So what we want to do is we want to try to limit how much changes in the vo in the mouth whenever we're singing an e eh vowel. So I want to make sure to limit how much I phonate whenever my mouth is changing. Bed. Oh, what did I do differently? Instead of closing my mouth to get the ed sound, instead of closing my mouth my tongue just came up and hit the roof of my mouth. Watch. Bed. Hey, and there's not a diphthong in there. It doesn't change the vowel. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to message me and I'll be glad to get back with you. Bye.